Hi Scorpios, hello, hello, peace, love, and light to each and every one of you. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot. I am back to bring you guys another channel collector reading. Peace, love, and light to all of you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Go ahead and hit that subscription button. I would love to have you as a part of my Scorpio Stingo family. Keep in mind, guys, the readings are general, so please only take what resonates, leave what doesn't, okay? All right, so let's get into this message. I want to call upon my ancestors of love and light, Archangel Michael, to protect me and shield me as I channel the messages for Scorpio. Let no weapon form against me shall prosper. Any demonic forces, evil eye, witchcraft, or any type of spell work that's coming against my channel, my home, or my family, I ask that you rebuke the energy, return it back to sender 10,000 fold in Jesus' name. And it is so. Amen and amen. All right, show me what I need to see for Scorpio. All right, so we have here abandonment. All right, so there may have been someone who may have left you stranded, feeling neglected here. You could have abandoned someone. All right, so we have shocking. Hmm. Tell me more. I feel like whatever this abandonment was, either you left someone or someone left you. This was shocking to either one of you. It was very unexpected. Serendipity. Hmm. This gives me the Wheel of Fortune energy. So something is about to change. Some type of fate, fortune, or luck is coming towards you. But let's see. Tell me more, Spirit. We have offensive. Hmm. There's someone who's very disrespectful, very rude towards you. Hmm. Someone who may come off as offensive, disrespectful. Maybe doesn't hear you out. I feel like this may be your energy. You may be changing as an individual where you're not wanting to hear what someone got to say. Because of the fact I'm getting someone left you. Spirit said this is the truth. Yeah. Whatever this abandonment or neglectful energy was, this was shocking to you. It actually was kind of unexpected for this to happen. But it opened your eyes and it made you change as an individual. Hmm. Let's get a little deeper into this, guys, okay? Let's see. Actually, no. Let me use a different deck here. All right. Let me use one of my newer decks here. All right, Spirit, show me what I need to see. What is this abandonment? Show me what I need to see. Clarify abandonment for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Clarify abandonment. <laughs> My kids are home from school, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, somehow I had my cards mixed up. Tell me about abandonment. He is so loud, isn't he? <laughs> Here's the fool. Aries energy. Open the door, mama. Clarify abandonment. So we have the fool card here. Aries energy. Hmm. Someone could have abandoned you because they wanted to be free. Someone wanted to be single. Someone possibly went straight into a karma energy, Queen of Swords. There was another card that flipped out. Hang on, guys. Let's see what this is. So we have the Temper and the Ten of Swords. Hmm. Okay, so seems like to me someone abandoned you and lied about dealing with the karmic. Wow. The Tower Scorpio energy in the reverse, Ten of Swords in reverse. Mm. You're healing from this abandonment, Scorpio. The worst is already over. I'm also getting that you freed yourself and you learned some lessons from this here with the Hierophant. But whoever this was, they lied to you about a karma. They abandoned you for a third party. That's just all to it. Someone here wanted to be free, wanted to be single, and they left you. They left you behind. Wow. Wow. This third party can be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, kind of similar to my last reading. A karmic female who was an air sign. 
someone is definitely lying about it, trying to not take accountability for this third party. Hmm. Hey, honey. Tell me about shocking. What is what is this? Tell me about shocking for Scorpio. Your person will be an Aries. But someone is definitely lying here about why they abandoned you. They abandoned you. They're not taking, ability, taking accountability for leaving you for a third party. Tell me about shocking. All right. So we have Queen of Cups. You know why this was so shocking to you? Because you love this person very much. You're the Queen of Cups. Yeah, very humble energy, intuitive, sweet energy. Tell me about shocking. Thank you. Page of Wands. It may be shocking to the fact that this person may still love you, Scorpio, and that they're wanting to talk to you. Hold on. Wow. Hmm. Whoever this is, they want to have some type of conversation with you, talk with you. Oh, man, tell me more. Oh, spirit, that's too many. That's too many. Clarify shocking. Find shocking for Scorpio. What is this about? Thank you. Well, as you see, these well, there's multiple cards that flew here, but I'm not gonna take all of these because it's a total of three. All right, so we have here <clears throat> the four of pentacles, we have the knight of swords and the knight of cups. So there's someone, yeah, it seems like somebody is wanting to come back towards you. Someone is still holding on to your loving, humble, spiritual, intuitive energy. And that is unexpected. This person may reach out to you and, and maybe offer you some type of love offer. Maybe want to come in and, yeah, someone here wants to talk to you. Yeah. Someone definitely here wants to talk to you, Scorpio. Wow. Wow. Tell me more. Tell me more about shocking. Show me what I need to see. Tell me about shocking for Scorpio. And then we have the tower here, which is Scorpio energy, the full Aries, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, it may be shocking to you that this person even want to reach out to you, talk with you. What we have here, the Ten of Pentacles. See, this person know that you're the one. You're the one that they can have a solid commitment with. Yeah. It may be shocking that this person wants to even come back and have something stable with you long term. Thank you. Wow. Scorpio energy with the dust. So we have Scorpio here twice. Aries here. This karmic is definitely an air sign. We have the Page of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. Like I told you, this person wants to... It may be shocking to you that this person wants to reach out to you, maybe ask you for another chance, heal this connection. Wow. But with the death card being here, you may be shocked that this person may have went through some type of transformation when they reach out to you, have a conversation. Hmm. Wow. It may be shocking to you that they did some work on themselves. Wow. Wow. It's kind of almost like you're shocked that this person is wanting to talk to you after things have ended. Wow. Tell me about serendipity. So this talks about fate, fortune. This is the wheel of fortune here. Good things are coming towards you. Thank you. Knight of Wands. Okay. Aries Leo Sag. Tell me more about serendipity. And of course, guys, as always, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Thank you, Spirit. Look at there. Thank you, Spirit. I'll call it out. Wheel of Fortune is here. Something is about to change in your favor. Something is turning. A turn of events is either coming around, spinning around again. Something here is about to change for you, Scorpio. Thank you. Yeah, look at there. Nine of Cups. 
there is someone who's definitely wanted to come towards you, Scorpio, to give you some type of love offer. They're taking, you know, this opportunity. It's like something is changing within this person. But the only thing is they're coming out as a knight, you know? Give me one more for serendipity. The wheel is definitely turning in your favor, possibly in divine timing. This person's going to take action towards you, bring your love offer. Give me one more for serendipity. Tell me one more for serendipity, Holy Spirit. Oh, wow, that's too many. But we have here the Five of Wands, the Hierophants, the Six of Swords. And the three of wands. Yeah, this person's waiting for the right time to come back towards you. To ask you for forgiveness. Yeah. Wow. Give me one more. Thank you. All right. So we have the two of pentacles. Hmm. See, I feel like when this person come back towards you guys to bring you this offer, you're not going to know what to do. I feel like you're going to be in this wishy-washy energy like, hmm. I don't know. You may even be juggling with other priorities. Maybe someone else is in your life. Hmm. I'm also getting in divine time and you're going to have a choice. You may have a choice between two different people, a knight of wands and a knight of cups, an Aries, Leo, Sag, or a water sign. Yeah, for a new opportunity. One of these people are going to be your divine masculine. Someone here is ready to step up to the plate. Yep, and have a family with you. Wow, ten of cups. Yep, <laughs> this is going to be a new beginning. So Scorpio, you're going to have a, an option here. Eight of Cups, there's someone here you're going to end up walking away from. Yeah, wow. All right, so what's the final message here for Scorpio? Tell me about offensive. So in divine time, child, you're going to have two different people that's going to come towards you. It may be your person from your past that's trying to come towards you, Scorpio, and then there may be someone else. Because of your loving, beautiful energy. All right. Tell me about offensive. What is this offensive energy? It's crazy. It's like someone abandoned you and now I want to come back. They lied to you about a third party. Now they wanted to talk to you and express some type of love. After you guys have ended. But they're going to try to come back along with someone else is going to come in the picture too. What we have here. The Nine of Swords. Mm. Someone could be thinking about how disrespectful and rude they were to you, how they brushed you off. Mm. It's keeping them up at night. Tell me more offensive. What's the final message here for Scorpio? Thank you. What we have here, the Six of Wands. Mm. I feel like whoever this was who was disrespectful or rude towards you, this person tried to get your attention. Thank you. All right, so we have here the nine of wands. So we have two nines here. 99 can be something to you. And we also have here that, yeah, like I told you, seven of cups. You're going to have options. <laughs> you're going to have choices and options here because, see, Scorpio, you're getting a lot of attention. And there's someone here that you may be a little rude to. You may push out of your way. You may not want to hear what they got to say. You're blocking yourself off from whoever this person is that's thinking about you. I feel like this person made you cry. They were disrespectful towards you, made you cry, lose sleep, and now you're guarded towards them. But see, I feel like you guys are getting a lot of attention from different people, and you're going to have a lot of different options to choose from. Yeah. What is this? The Four of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. Hmm. There's going to be someone you come together with, Scorpio. You're going to be pulling back from someone else to collaborate with someone else. This is going to be someone's karma, justice. Mm-hmm. Because now you're planting seeds in a whole another situation. Yeah, three of cups. You're planting seeds in another situation that you're trying to grow. Yeah. And with these five of swords, it's kind of like this person is going to try to manipulate you to take them back. Because we have the nine of pentacles here. Because see, now you're single and available. So it's kind of like... It's almost like someone is trying to play on your mental almost. To try to get you to come towards them page of swords 
in the three of wands see this person i feel like this is your past person they're waiting for the right opportunity to reach out to you i feel like this person is talking and watching you yeah they want to take action towards you yeah but they know that you may end up re rejecting them and letting them go because right now you're letting divine time and play out in your life this person does want to heal things and talk to you possibly apologize because they see that you are their two of cups you're their true soulmate here yeah six of cups the one from your past but what is so crazy is that it's like they're trying to be they're trying to be strategic on the way they come towards you to apologize yeah they want to take action to come towards you they're definitely watching you in the shadows here waiting for the right opportunity it's like they're going to play mind games and try to this shit is stupid. They're going to try to play my games to come towards you. Because see, now you're single and available. They know other people want you right now. They know you could possibly be on dates with others. Yeah. That you have options right now. You can go out and do whatever you want. Wow. That's going to be their karma. You rejecting them. They're going to sit there and keep waiting and waiting. And then someone else is going to pick you up. Mm-hmm. Wow. All right, Scorpio, this is what I have for you. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.